Hey guys, this is BVH Nightmare, and today we're going to be looking at the GMP Dual Laser Designator and Illuminator. The GMP Laser Designator is a copy of the ANPEQ 15 Alpha, which is also an improvement over the PEC 15 and the PEC 2. The laser comes in a standard brown box wrapped in bubble wrap. When you open it, you'll find the laser, the pressure pad activator, and an instruction manual. The instruction manual is relatively simple. It basically gives you the gist of what each button does on the laser. Here's a static picture of the laser so you can get a heads up of what it's like. Doing a walk around, you can see it's constructed of a sturdy aluminum metal housing. You can see the laser engraved markings all throughout the laser. As we do a flyover, you can see the vertical adjustments, the manual pressure pad, and the battery indicator, as well as the laser engravings. On the underside of the laser, you can see the quick detach. As you can see, the laser is operated by one CR123 3-volt battery. When you insert the battery, it is inserted positive end towards the muzzle. The laser has rubber caps which can be removed when firing the weapon or on operations. Focusing on the left dial, you have on low power, momentary low power, off, momentary high power, and on high power. For the right dial, you have visible pointer, IR illuminator, IR point and illuminator, and IR pointer. Here we can see the horizontal and vertical adjustment knobs. When you turn the knobs, they have a nice tactile feel to them, and there is a positive click every time you turn them. Here we can see the stampings behind the adjustment knobs, indicating which way you need to turn the dial to either move the illuminator or the IR and visible point lasers in which direction. To activate the laser, simply push the manual pressure pad pointed out in the picture on the laser. The re included remote pressure pad can be plugged into the rear of the laser via the hole to the right of the laser. Once plugged in, you can fire the laser either using the remote pressure pad or the manual pad. Moving the QD towards the muzzle unlocks the device. Pushing it towards the receiver of the weapon will lock it with the built-in QD lock. The laser will mount to any 1913 Picatinny rail system. Here you can see I'm mounting the laser to my BCM AR-15 right in front of my Bushnell TRS-25. The laser is low enough that it will clear the Bushnell TRS-25 with plenty of room to spare. Also it does not mess with any co-witness with your iron sights. Here the laser is mounted with the included pressure pad attached with plenty of room for it to move to the front of my rail system. Overall, the quality of the GMP laser is outstanding. For 150 bucks, I think I picked up a great laser, and time, only time will tell how well it will hold up on an actual AR-15 instead of an actual airsoft gun. I bought it because I figured, hey, 150 bucks is a lot better than 600 bucks actually spending on a D-ball. I'm not going to be going to combat anytime soon, but I do use night vision from time to time, and this will help me suffice my needs when aiming at in the dark. Overall, I think it's a great buy. I'll do an update video as soon as I can once I get some range ammo and some rain time. As always, this has been BVH Nightmare. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.